What's up, people of the world? Rob here again. Um, still working with what exactly, or still trying to figure out what exactly my channel's going to be about. I don't know how other YouTubers just make it seem, well, kind of easy. I mean, like, they either know they're going to review stuff or they're just going to kind of like do a new segment type of thing. I don't know. Uh, I do know that the title of these videos is no longer going to be like opinions with Rob or whatever. That sounds stupid as hell. Uh, it's more likely just going to be Rob's rants. And I meant to make this video last night. But, well, quite frankly, I got stuck binge watching the newsroom. Because even though it's been years since the last episode of season three, that show is still phenomenal, in my opinion. But my rant for today slash last night, at least for here in Virginia, uh, specifically the Richmond, Midlothian, Chesterfield area, is drivers and how cautious or dumb they get when just a little bit of rain starts to fall. I don't know how it is in other states. I've lived in Virginia for all of my 30, almost 31 years worth of life. And it's just stupid ridiculous. Last night we were not getting hardly anything. And speed limit's 45 and everybody was going 30. Now I'm aware, yes, water makes roads wet. It's common sense. But also, if the tread on your tires is fine, if your brakes are working, then you should not have to go 30 in a 45 just because there's a little bit of water on the pavement. That is stupid. I mean, I'm in a Honda Civic and I was zooming around people going five over the posted speed limit, which on Hall Street or Route 360, it's either 45 or 55. So I was going either 50 or 60 because there's, there's this one stretch where it doesn't make any sense at all that it jumps from 45 to 55 miles per hour speed limit and then it drops back down to 45 and then... For some idiotic reason, it drops down to 35. I personally think and believe that in large areas, maybe not neighborhoods, but in just typical roads and whatnot, there needs to be a drastic overhaul of what the posted speed limit is. Like, I'll give you a little hint. Speed limit is 45. I'm currently going 48. And, I mean, why is this, what, why is it this posted speed limit not 50 on this stretch of road? And it stays like this all the way up for like another maybe two miles. And then it jumps up to 55 for some, for whatever reason. I can only guess to maybe try and speed trap people, but cops are never really hidden on Hall Street. Personally, I don't even think Chesterfield police know how to actually hide well. I can pinpoint a cop car out everywhere. Um, but yeah, like it stays 45 for maybe like another two miles or whatever. But I just don't get it. Like I was going around SUVs and currently my tire tread, it's pretty good. I got new tires all around my car about maybe a month and a half ago. And, but my brakes are damn near shot. I'm going to be working on those next week. So that's my rant. Not ending in a question like I did in my last video. Um, still trying to figure out how often I'm going to make videos. I would love and I see a reason to do a vlog. I would love to do a vlog. That way years from now when I'm older I can pull up my YouTube channel 
and look back at videos from my 30s. I would love to say my 20s, but I didn't record anything in my 20s. Uh, but I would love to be able to look back and see the kind of stuff I did in my 30s. But currently, I work a tiny, tiny office assistant type of job making 12 an hour doing a little bit of HR work and a little bit of spreadsheet work so I mean when I'm not there I'm at home because I really I have a small circle of friends I really only have like one true friend and he's busy with his stuff and yeah so I mean I don't really get out much, so I, I feel like there's not much to record in the way of vlogs, so I don't see a reason to do that. And I know after a while, my opinions will start to get stale or whatever, and sure, I'll gather in some, some people who agree with me, some people who disagree with me, people who are annoyed with me, or whatever, and... All of those things can lead to other videos, I guess, like me replying to comments. But first, people would have to actually check out my videos, maybe even subscribe and leave a comment. Like or dislike a video, whatever. Um, yeah, that's that's my rant for today slash last night. Uh, sorry I don't make eye contact to the camera. I'm driving. Um, I'll look over whenever I can. Uh, and yeah, maybe in like another month I'll start to make videos about my beard growth. I'm pretty sure I've been growing ever since October, maybe September of 2018. So I've been told by a comment from another YouTuber on a completely different channel on a beard tube that if I've been growing for like three to five months, then either my beard grows extremely slow or I've been trimming. I have not trimmed at all. Uh, if anything, I just use wash, beard softener, and then I put some oil and a little bit of balm in it for just like trying to make it stay in place or whatever um i think part of the reason it's as short as it is for f like three to five months worth of growth is the fact that for only one of those months basically december is when i actually got serious about growing out my beard into a year and that's when i actually went out bought a brush i need to I, I kind of questioned the brush I got it at Kroger. It's supposed to be 100% boar's hair, but eh, for some odd reason, I really doubt that. I don't know why, just a gut feeling. But got the beard wash and everything, and I've been taking proper care of it since at least December. So that could be part of it. Normally, before this past December, I would just shave off everything and have just a mustache and a goatee and a soul patch. Basically, this whole area. Normally, that's what I would have, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I look good with a beard, and as it grows out and I'm able to style it and shape it, I'll look maybe a little bit better with it. Also, as I lose weight, because I'm a pretty big dude. But, yeah. No trimming, none at all, and this is what I work with. This is how my beard grows out normally. I feel like I'm kind of one of those fortunate people where I don't have a patchy beard, either that or I don't see the patches. I don't know, maybe around my soul patch a little bit, like these two spots. Um, but yeah, anybody who sees this, feel free to share it. Maybe there are those out there who... I don't know. I'm going to give rants or my opinions on things 
such as stuff that the news people go over, uh, or news channels, not news people, um, politics, basically the world. Uh, the, as I see it from day to day, I might upload maybe twice a week, once a day, or slash once a night, uh, because I have insomnia thanks to overnight job working at Amazon, so I tend to stay up until like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning for some reason, even though I've been trying to work on having a normal sleep schedule. That's failing. And, yeah, so, I mean, my upload schedule is not going to be something concrete, and it's going to fluctuate. But, I might make this an everyday thing. When I see something on TV or hear something on the radio, which strikes a nerve with me, I might just make a note of it, and then later on, post a video of it. Once again, as I said in my last video, I am working off of either my uh, Nexus 6P phone. It's either a 6P or a 6X. I think it's the I think it's a 6P. Or my <laughs> 2007 iMac. That's gonna have great quality. Or my used 2011-2012 MacBook. And until I'm either able to purchase Final Cut or find a copy of it from a friend or something, uh, these videos will be unedited. There will be no special intro before the video starts or whatever. And I do have music making... Uh, shoot, there's a... There's a certain program on my iMac. Uh, I've made a couple of songs that I already have uploaded. I might start making like little tiny 10 second tracks just to have them loop in the background. That way there's some kind of something special about my videos. But yeah, uh, this has been Ranting with Rob. Not a big rant this time. A little, little tiny rant. And yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Adiós.